Okay, so I'm Andre and this vlog is going to be big. What the basis of this vlog really is, is about, about a year and a half ago, I pretty much met the love of my life. And this vlog is going to be about that. It's uh, it's about a story about what's going to happen the next couple of days. Obviously, you guys can assume more about the question. And uh, I'm just going to go check out the location just to make sure that things are set up properly, that I know kind of where I'm going, where I'm parking. Uh, I have this whole plan of mine. I've had this plan for, God, I want to say six months, if not longer. Probably even longer, but it's been changing over the time because she kind of got the clues for certain things. And I kind of had to flip things around, steer her off track, get her onto another track, etc. But I'll tell you the story in a little bit here. Let me get going. I just got off work. Then I'm going to go check out this location and we'll go from there. It's an absolutely beautiful place. You know, I love this location. This is called Alexander Circle in Edmonton. If you have never checked that out. Uh, side note, a beast is amazing. I love it. Just as much as I love her. If not, no, I do love her more than the car, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is Alexander Circle. It's a giant circle. It's got this gorgeous fountain, right? So just looking down there, it's, it's a pretty spectacular view. So my plan is we'll sit probably one of these two benches and I'll pop the question right here right in front of the fountain so that when you're getting the shot um, you'll be able to see all this we'll see you'll see us everything um, the whole plan about this is well, I've been fortunate enough to have, have a professional wedding photographer in our family my brother-in-law Curtis Round and uh, my sister who's married to him and they have this vision which I absolutely adore my plan is maybe they'll hide somewhere in one of the streets which I'm not parked because I'm planning to park Right here as well. They'll see he kind of like the side of us or behind us, so that she, that Sarah, does not know that I'm actually popping a question. She does not know that there's actually going to be photographers capturing this moment because I feel like that's something that I kind of want to do, and I think like she would appreciate. Now this plan definitely did change multiple amount of times. Uh, the original plan was I'm going to buy a ring and I was going to propose to her uh, in Lake Como in Italy. I think that's one of my dream spots to ever go, and we're going there um, in a couple of weeks, actually, because we're going, we're leaving this Saturday to Rome. We're there for about a week. We go to Florence, we go to Bologna, Modena, Venice. Uh, then we finish off our vacation, like pretty much a three week vacation in uh, Varena in Lake Como. So I got a nice Airbnb right on the lake. Uh, great view, amazing balcony. I'll link the place we're staying at down below or I'll even just throw a picture right here. That was my original plan, but I didn't want to carry the ring around for that long. And if I lose it, that's, it would be terrible. Uh, and especially this ring being uh, uh, her grandmother's ring and she was very close with her grandmother. It's such a sentimental value. So I got a hold of it and I was able to get it fully refinished, replace diamonds, just get it to look like it's brand new, which is great. Yeah, my original plan was to do it in Lake Como. All short story short, all story short. But I feel like she caught on to that over the last, I think, month or so. And then when I found out that she kind of knew, I was like, okay, well, it's still got to be a bit of a surprise. So I kind of tried to steer her some other ways. And then I got the idea, I was like, from my brother-in-law and my sister is, why not do it here? Why not do it somewhere in Edmonton and kind of throw it off for a bit more? So I'm like, okay, let's think of a plan. And <laughs> this is really crazy because I was had such huge nerves a couple of weeks ago. I asked her parents for permission. They said yes, which is amazing. But the plan was, like, how am I going to get her here on Wednesday? I kind of used my best friend Rudy, uh, one of my best friends, of course, uh, as a scapegoat almost because he got engaged. He has a fiance now, which is amazing. I'm using him as a scapegoat saying that, you know, he, I told Sarah that uh, he got her like kind of like a temporary ring at first and then he wanted to get her like a better or a different type of engagement ring that he kind of wanted to purchase and um, that he kind of got her in. He was uh, bugging me about like, kind of hiding away when uh, taking pictures of them uh, that Rudy's gonna propose to her, like re-propose to her uh, kind of idea um, on this Wednesday. And she's like, oh yeah, I'm all for, like, you know, I'm like, let's let's go. I'm all for helping you and Rudy do this, get this all set up. So it's nice, kind of secretive. So that kind of steered her one way. And my original plan was, yeah, we're gonna hang out with my brother-in-law and my sister this, week, this, this Wednesday, go for a walk, go for coffee. And then I was like, oh wait, you know, they're busy doing a photo shoot. So that's out of the question. So I got to change my plans up. And I had to text him saying that 
we can't make it, etc. So it's it's all been like this elaborate like back and forth, back and forth, kind of get her distracted a bit, do this. And this week has been busy for us since it's we're leaving on Saturday and we still have to pack. So I want to try to document this as much as I can today. I'm going to double check, make sure the fountain is actually running tomorrow and on Wednesday when I'm doing it. And I'm only going to do this once in my lifetime anyway. They're going to get married only once in my lifetime. And so I kind of want to make it perfect, make it special and kind of have a documentary little bit of it so I can see in the future. I can, If somebody asks, they want to see it, great, they can see it. But this is just for my viewing, viewing pleasure and that just as I'm sure she'd want to see kind of like what I was thinking during the whole these stages because it's absolutely, yeah, it's... It's absolutely nerve-wracking uh, going through these these stages and uh, figuring out what to do, what's what's next, what's what I gotta do next, what I have to say, what I have to plan, uh, all these little things. And a few of my friends know about it. Um, a few of her friends know about it actually. And um, yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting, of course. Uh, but I really shouldn't vlog and drive now, so. Uh, I will let you guys go. I will touch base tomorrow, technically be like in a second here. Today is the day and I'm nervous as hell. Even though I do hope that I know what the answer is. Uh, still, it's been like all day long. I had this feeling in my stomach where I'm like either feeling I'm sick or if I'm nervous, I have no idea what it is. Never had this feeling before. It's so, it's so weird, uh, but yeah. And so I'm excited to see her reaction today and and it's a gorgeous day today. You know, we're going to be proposing in front of a Alexander Circle uh, fountain today and it's a gorgeous area, especially when the fountain's on. So thankful to have such a great social circle that supports me, supports Sarah, who's uh, always been there for us and of course family. Uh, but yeah, I am nervous, nervous as hell. I'm going to try to touch base. Uh, either when I get home or you might see the next clip maybe uh, if it's a yes or if it's a no and then we'll go from there but I'll chat with you guys later wish me luck and let's see what happens Thank you.